Hello and welcome to another online business realm video. If you like the videos that you see on our channel, please go ahead and do us a favor and click the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Today we're going to be looking at how to exchange cryptocurrency with Evercoin. So right now cryptocurrency seems to be everywhere. Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Ethereum are some of the main ones right now, but there's also a ton of other ones that are very interesting. Monero, Dash, Ripple. These are altcoins that work on blockchain technology, and they are possibly very, very good investments. People have already become millionaires and billionaires off of investing into this. We're going to talk a little bit more in some other videos about cryptocurrency and why it could be such a great investment. But today what we're going to look at is how can you exchange cryptocurrency. So this is Coinbase.com. And if you've tried to buy any cryptocurrency at all, the chances are you already have an account on this site. If not, you probably want to go ahead and create one. So Coinbase is the main hub, especially in the United States, for people to buy cryptocurrency. Uh, the, the problem is that there are only four offerings on here. There are only four coins that you can buy. You can buy Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. You can also load U.S. dollars onto your account, and then you can make uh, purchases of any of those four coins with the U.S. dollars in your wallet. So kind of the way it works is each one of these um, is a different wallet. So you can kind of see um, right here uh, the, wa the Bitcoin wallet, the Bitcoin cash wallet. It shows you on the right side. It shows all of your transactions. Um, it shows you all of your Litecoin transactions. It shows you each and every one of these. And each of these wallets has its own address, okay? So now here's the question. If you want to buy one of the more popular cryptocurrencies that are not on this site, then how do you do it? For instance, if I wanted to buy Ripple, uh, which is a very popular uh, blockchain technology right now, uh, many banks are starting to switch to it, how would I do that? Well, it, you'd have to first make your purchase of your Bitcoin or your Bitcoin Cash or your Ethereum or your Litecoin onto Coinbase. Um, and so as you look over here, you'll see my portfolio and you'll see I've got about 25 cents in Bitcoin and about 7 cents in Bitcoin Cash. Now, the, the issue here is that um, I have all of my portfolio in different cryptocurrencies. I, I have invested in a lot of the smaller ones that have much higher potential in them. So the way I was able to exchange my Bitcoin for Ripple is through Evercoin. So Evercoin, there is an app uh, you can get on your phone. So you, And also Coinbase has an app, so you can do both of these directly on your phone. Um, or you can do it on desktop. We're going to be showing you today how to do it on desktop. So if you look here at Evercoin, you'll see right here at the top, they give you a little warning about Bitcoin Cash because it's just gone public on Coinbase, and it's really, really popular right now. But you'll see that all four of the offerings on Coinbase are here on Evercoin. So what you want to do is in your Coinbase account, you would make a Bitcoin purchase by going to buy, sell, and you would click Bitcoin here, and you can either pay with a checking account or a debit card. You will purchase however much Bitcoin you want to purchase, and then that'll go directly in your account. So let's just assume that we purchased one Bitcoin, which right now is between, you know, fluctuating between sixteen and nineteen thousand dollars. So it's quite an investment uh, with a lot of return potential. But let's just say that I have one Bitcoin. So under Bitcoin, I have put that I have one Bitcoin I'm willing to trade for other cryptocurrencies. So what I would do is come over here, and I would select which one I would want to buy. As you can see, um, right now, it, Ripple is temporarily not available. It, it, it kind of comes and goes, so you got to pay attention to make sure you get it uh, you know, while you can. Digibyte is another popular one right now uh, that has a lot of return potential. I've actually just bought a lot of Digibyte. Um, and I've got several thousand of them, and I'm hoping on a good return in my investment. So I'm going to show you how I did that. Basically, if I hit one Bitcoin here, you'll see that would get me 
uh, 300,000 or 302,980. As you can see, it updated. It updates quite a bit. So for for Digibyte or for Ripple, you need to whichever one you're interested in buying, you'll have to look into a wallet. So each each one of these cryptocurrencies has its own wallet. For Ripple, for instance, I use Toast Wallet. For Digibyte, I use the Digibyte Core Wallet. So you'll have to get that wallet established. And uh, I'll show you kind of how uh, you can do this here. So what you do is you buy your Bitcoin. Let's say I had one Bitcoin. I wanted to exchange it. You go ahead and hit Get Started. So right here, it's going to say your BTC refund address. So if the transaction for some reason were to fail, this is where your money is going to go back into your account. So what you would do here is you'd go to Coinbase and you would go to your accounts, you would select your Bitcoin wallet, and you would click receive. Now, when you hit receive, it gives you a little warning here. Um, you know, this is one thing that might be kind of confusing. It's very important, though, is that you can only send and receive cryptocurrencies within their own wallets. So I can't send Ethereum to a Bitcoin wallet. That's why you have to use an exchanger such as Evercoin to make the exchange for you. So uh, here I'm going to show my address uh, and what you'll do is you will copy that address. Uh, you can just hit the copy button there. It'll turn to green. You copy your address. I've also obviously blocked mine out so you guys uh, can't be sending me a bunch of Bitcoin, which would be very beneficial to me, so I'm not sure why I did that. But, um, you know, just to be on the safe side. So I've now copied my address, and now I place that into that slot. Now, for Digibyte, uh, I am using uh, this wallet right here called the Digibyte Core. Um, uh, I'm trying to sync it right now, which is why it shows zero. I do have several thousand of them, though. And you would hit Receive. Now, when you hit receive, you will type in, uh, you know, X number of dollars, you'll type in, uh, or, or you will type in a label. So let's just call it uh, Evercoin Exchange Amount. Let's just say I'm getting, you know, 4000 and you will hit uh, request payment. When you hit request payment, now you have a... Um, an address here that you can copy so you'll copy that address okay you'll come back over here to Evercoin and you will type that here and then you just hit exchange now when you hit exchange it gives you an address okay now this address is the one where you're gonna have to send your Bitcoin to so what you would do is you'd come here you'd hit send okay you would type the wallet in, and you know you would obviously want to put your one Bitcoin. Uh, you can also do something if you want to send all of your cryptocurrency of a certain kind. You would hit send max, and as you can see, I have uh, it would cost me a negative amount um, right now because of a, a small network fee. But uh, once you do that, you'll hit continue, and it is going to send the money into Evercoin. As you'll see it would say waiting deposit. Once that money, once that Bitcoin hits a waiting deposit, now it's going to move over to waiting exchange. And then once your wallet receives it, it's going to say all done. You can keep up with this um, on your Bitcoin wallet. You'll see like the last one that I made was um, I sent uh, $100 to approximately $100 in Bitcoin to a different wallet I've got. And uh, it will show right here, it will say pending once you uh, complete the send. And it's going to say pending until it goes through this whole process. And at that point, it's going to say sent. So this is how you can use Evercoin to exchange your cryptocurrency. And in my opinion, just as a tip, I think uh, as far as Bitcoin goes, unless you have thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to invest, you're probably not going to be able to make a fortune with Bitcoin even with Ethereum, Litecoin has gotten very expensive recently. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is just kind of bust on the Coinbase scene, and it's obviously between three and four thousand dollars right now. Uh, something like Digibyte, that is, uh, when I bought it, it was less than four cents a piece. Now it's gone up to almost six cents a piece, 
Ripple, I bought it at 27 cents a piece. It's gone up to over a dollar now. And if these coins go to where, let's say, Bitcoin is right now, or even just where Ethereum is, I'm going to make a sizable amount of money. So I suggest uh, getting into exchanging cryptocurrencies. It's kind of like penny stocks, if you think about it that way. So that is a good way for you to exchange cryptocurrency and be able to buy up some of these ones that are at very small amounts right now. Uh, everybody's kind of talking about a cryptocurrency bubble, which we'll talk about in another video. But in my opinion, I believe that cryptocurrency is possibly the wave of the future for all currency. I could see at some point one of these cryptocurrencies even replacing the dollar. And there are going to be people that are going to continue to make millions and billions of dollars. No exaggeration on that through cryptocurrency. So you can either get on the train now and still have a chance to become one of those millionaires or even possibly billionaires if you invest enough in the smaller ones or you could just let this opportunity pass you by. So I suggest using Evercoin here and trying to exchange uh, cryptocurrency uh, and, and trying to make some money. So thank you for watching another Online Business Realm video. We're going to have a lot more for you guys on cryptocurrency down the road. But if you could, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with those videos. And until next time, get out there and make some money.